Luana Proença and today we're going to talk about problem set 5, re-requesting a vanity plate of CS50 introduction to programming with Python. So in this problem, the main idea is to do the following. We're going to reuse the code of vanity plates from problem set 2. All right, we already have the video solution in our YouTube channel. You can take a look if you want. All right, and we're going to implement the te a testing file to check if our functions are working correctly. All right, because the main goal of our week, the week five, is the unit test. So we're going to implement here in our code. Okay, so this part of the plate is already complete. Okay, I just I'm just reusing the the code that I already used for the problem set true. All right, so I'm not going to go into details in this. So if you want to know how to display this, take a look at the video. The link is in the the card and in the description. Okay, and today we're gonna focus on creating these tests. Okay. So in a, fi a file called plates.py, we implement vanity plates from problem set 2, restructuring our code, blah blah blah, it's already in here. Uh, so basically, our, we're going to test our isValid function, okay? The isValid function will return us true if we are creating a valid a vanity plate, and it's going to return us false if we are creating an invalid vanity plate. All right, and to do this, then in a file called testplates.py, implement four or more functions that collectively test your implementation of is valid, um, working with all the cases that we might have a problem. All right, so for this, I already created a pseudo code. Okay, I use here the the function that we're gonna work will be these five ones that I write in here. Okay, we're going to have a, te a test to check if plates may contain a maximum of six characters, letters or numbers and a minimum of two characters. Another test to check if the, the plate uh, start at least with two letters. Another one that numbers cannot be used in the middle of a plate, they must come at the end. Another one for the first number used it cannot be a zero. And the last, no periods, spaces or punctuation marks are allowed. So if you remember from plates.py, we already implemented these five conditions in here in our is valid. So we're gonna ch we're gonna check if our is valid function is working. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is let's understand how this testing in Python works. So uh, during the lecture of CS50 of week five, we can see that they are always explaining how to test things using this assert keyword. All right. So here, let's understand how this assert keyword works. Okay. This is W3 Schools, one of the best resources that you can use to check what a keyword, what is a keyword, for example, assert, break, and other words, or how a function work as well. Okay. And you have multiple examples. So let's understand in here the assert keyword is using when debugging code, in our case when testing a code, all right? The assert keyword lets you test if a condition in your code returns true. If not, the program will raise an uncertain error. You can write a message should be written if the code returns false. All right, this part of display a message, we don't need to do, this is optional, okay? But we're gonna use this assert to test if a condition is returning us what we are expecting to return. If this condition is not returning us what we are expecting to return, we're going to, uh, this means that our function isn't working the way it is supposed to be. All right, let's see this example. For example, we have a variable x equals true hello. If we want to check, we do x equals true hello, assert x equals equals goodbye. The assert keyword lets you test if a condition in your code returns true. If not, the program will raise an assert error. In this case, the assert will raise an assert error because hello is not equals true goodbye. Thinking about another example where we want to check if our function is working. Let's suppose we have the file above def main, this is our main function, and we're printing true square is, and we're calling the function square, passing the parameter true. Then we are defining our square function and our parameter is n, and we're doing return n times n. If we want to test the square function, we can run the test, test underscore calculator.py, where we do from calculator import square, then we define our main function calling the function test square, and then we define our test square function doing 
assert squared true is equal to 4. In this test, the assert keyword will return true because the square of true is 4. This means that our function is working the way that it's supposed to. If we change the function with square by returning only n instead of n times n, once we run the test, the assert keyword will raise an assert error because our function is telling us that square of true is true, but it should be 4. This means that there is something wrong with the square function. So now that we understood how the, the test work and using the assert keyword, we're going to start implementing here our, in our code, all right, what we have to do. So we're going to create a file called test underscore plates.py and I already created this in here, all right, in the same folder as the plates.py and to use the, the is valid function, we're going to use this hint here. We're going to import plates or from plate import is valid. I want to use this in our code, okay? So I'm going to put here in the top. Then we're going to do these five functions, all right? I'm going to do the first function here that plates may contain a maximum of six characters and a minimum of two characters. So I'm going to create a function called test underscore min and max characters. All right, this is the name that I want to give. And here I'm going to do some search. I'm going to use a search for some cases, all right? The first one, I'm going to check if is valid. If we pass the value AA, AA, it's true characters, so it should accept, right? So if we pass AA, it must be true, all right? We're doing this first checking. And also if I have six characters, uh, it must be true as well, because it has at least six or between two and six characters. So assert is valid. And if I put here, for example, A, B, C, D, E, F, it should give us true. Okay. And I'm also going to give two more tests in here. If we have one letter only, so if we do assert is valid, one letter it should return us false, not should, it must return us false. And the is valid if we have more than six letters like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, it must return us false as well. Okay, so this is the first test. So let's check. Every time we are creating a test function, we have to call the test function in here in the main. So I'm gonna do here test min and max characters all right so if i run here python test py test test underscore plates that is the name of our file and i run this in here this is telling me that we pass the test all right we pass in 0.0, .0 uh, 0 0.0 Zero, 03 seconds. So this means that our is valid function is working. But uh, what if I don't have this part? This part is handling to have less than two or more than six. All right. So if I remove this from here, let's see what happens. And I run the code again it will give us a problem, all right? It's telling us here that we failed the test, basically, okay? In this case, we failed the test, all right? So this means that our test is working so far. Now let's work with the second test. Plates must start with at least two letters. So here I'm gonna create a function called test to start, start with two letters. All right, and in this case, I'm gonna do two, two tests. I'm gonna test if we start with two letters, uh, sorry, three cases, if we start with two letters, if we start with one letter and one number, or if we start with two numbers, all right? You can do multiple tests in here. You can choose what you prefer. So if it's valid, AA, it must return as true. If uh, the is valid, if we use a true must give us false. If we do the other way around, is valid true A must give us false as well. And finally, if we do only with numbers, it must give us false as well. Okay? So you can choose different uh, different parameters to pass, all right? The, the main idea is to check these cases, all right? So let's see. If I remove this case in here that is checking uh, all the plates must start with at least two characters. If I remove this from here, 
and I test our code, it should give us an error saying that the function is not working properly. So if I run this in here, it's telling tests start with two letters is giving this issue. So our test is working, all right? If we put the code again, it we're, we're going to pass all the tests. So this means that it's working, okay? Now let's work with the next one. So now, uh, sorry, I'm gonna call here, I have to call here the function test start with two letters it's important to do this way okay now let's do the next one numbers cannot be used in the middle of a plate they must come at the end so here we can't have a plate called aaa two two a we only can we can't have letters after the numbers once the number appears all right and we're handling this at this part okay this part in here this for loop so we're going to check i'm gonna create here def test uh number middle all right i'm gonna you can give any name this is the name that i want so if we try is valid a a a true 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 this should this must give us true all right because we don't have any letter after the number but if we have the another output that it's a a a true true a we have a letter after the number and this must return us false okay and if we run we're passing the test okay so far so good let me write this function in here so uh, test number uh, numbers middle this is how I'm calling the next one the first number used it cannot be zero so we can have CS50 as plate, but we can't have CS05. Zero cannot be the first number. So we're going to do this two tests. So test number zero, okay? And what am I gonna do? The assert of is valid passing CS50 must return as true because zero is, a, is the second number that is appearing. And the assert of is valid doing CS05 must return us false all right because zero here is the first appearance and finally no period spaces or punctuation marks are allowed so here we're gonna do the definition of this i'm gonna call test punctuation all right and in this case i gave me the liberty of using this test in here sorry this test in here in our loops function in our problem set we can do this test here they you can use this test that they gave in here because you can have an idea of what is valid and what is invalid okay so here we have a dot in the middle so i'm gonna try to use this one for example if i say assert is valid with this this must return us false okay if i have an assert instead of dot i use a exclamation mark py py3 exclamation 14 this must return us false as well because we can't have punctuations and spaces as well so if we have is valid and we have pi space uh, 14 it must return us false okay you can do multiple like i said you can pass multiple parameters in this valid function the idea is to test if it's working now to finish I'm gonna call this function in here so test number zero and test punctuation all right and if we run if we run our py test and the name of the file it, we're passing the five tests all right because our function is working now I'm gonna run check 50 and if we got everything green this means that we are correct and we're done with the code let's see so we got all green in check 50 so this means that we are correct and we're done with our code all right if you enjoy this content please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you have any questions send here on the comment or schedule for meeting with us the links in the description and i hope to see you in the next video bye bye